Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. In this video, we're gonna be using the St. James Suite plugin to dial in a great clean funk tone. So for this, we're gonna be using the 6L6 amp on the clean channel. Now, cab-wise for this, we don't want to do anything with a big cabinet. We want a real tight focused sound for funk. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch off one side of this. I'm gonna center pan a single cabinet so that we only have a mono signal. You can do stereo funk sounds if you want, but we're gonna talk about this from a mono perspective. Now, when it comes to funk, you don't really want a huge cabinet sound. So you don't want the extended lows that a four by 12 is gonna give you. You want something quite focused. So I'm gonna start with just the St. James one by 12 speaker. Now, mic wise, Again, we want something with a bit of focus. So a dynamic mic is great for funk, as is a condenser. So a condenser will give us a nice balanced sound and a dynamic will give us a little bit more of an aggressive, bright and cutting sound. So I'm gonna start with a 67 condenser as my mic of choice. And I'm gonna have that on axis as well so we get the full spectrum of what we need. So in its current state like that, I've got nothing switched on at the front end and in the back end, we've got everything switched off as well, so nothing is on, it's completely dry, and with everything set to 12 o'clock, it sounds like this. So really dry, really kind of cutting and crisp. We're gonna use that to sculpt our funk tone. So what we're gonna do is start with the amp, and we don't wanna do anything too extreme when it comes to EQ with funk. What we want is a good bit of volume, so I'm gonna turn the volume up. We want to maintain that real clean sound, but we just wanna dial that tone in until it works for what we need. Now, funk is perfect with single coils, so you can use the neck pickup. Position four also works great, which I'm gonna use, which is the neck and the middle pickup. Now in its current state, that doesn't really work great as a funk tone. So what I want to do is add a little bit of low end and take some of the mids out. So we want it to be quite tight sounding. We can also help that by using a compressor. So I'm gonna turn the compressor module on and I'm gonna turn the compression up quite high and the blend quite high as well. So the compression is the amount that we're compressing it. So this is like the overall compression amount. And the blend is a blend between wet and dry. So the higher this is, the more of the compressed signal you're hearing over the dry signal. The speed here, the type of compressor is whether it's fast or slow compression. I want pretty fast because I want this to be very, very tight. What the compressor is gonna do is it's going to, number one, fatten everything out, but also number two, it's gonna even everything. So when we're playing funk riffs, everything's gonna be the same volume, which is why we want quite a compressed signal here. So we want a lot of blend, a lot of compression, and very fast, we want it to work quick. So with the compression off, it sounds like this. And on. So you can hear how that really just fattens it out. Now, that's probably still a little bit too bright. We want a bit more snap to the tone, but without too much cut. So I'm gonna bring the treble control down a little bit. And then what you can do is you can also come into the cab rig and you can try different things with the microphones. So I'm now gonna try a 412 dynamic. That gives me a little bit more of what I need. Uh, let's try a one, two, one ribbon. So that ribbon mic is a bit more akin to some vintage funk sounds. If you want something a bit more modern, the condenser will work a little bit better for you. You'll notice the room is basically off as well because we want this super dry. EQ, we can take some of the lows off and take some of the highs out as well if we need to. So let's bring that down to about 11K and then bring this up to 80 Hertz because that's just gonna tidy up the low end. So now we're in the right ballpark. So we've got a clean tone, which is super, super clean, lots of volume, Bit of a mid scoop, a little bit of a dip off in the treble there, and a bit more bass just to fatten it up. We've shaved off some of the unwanted lows with the low cut and the highs with the high cut. We're using the compression just to tighten it all up. And then we're using a 1x12 cab with whichever mic we 
think is the best one. So if we go to something like a 57 dynamic, this is gonna really capture the aggressive pick attack. And then if we want a smoother funk sound, like I said earlier, you can go for something like a ribbon mic. What you can also do with a funk sound is once you've got your perfect funk sound dialed in, you can actually turn this into like an 80s studio funk sound as well by adding some chorus. So what you want to do is turn the chorus on, keep the speed low, the width and depth you can kind of set to taste. So the width is like the stereo spread of the chorus. The speed is how fast the modulation effect works. So the lower that is, the better. And the depth is just the depth of the modulation, so how far it's wavering the pitch. Then when you play chords, you get this really tight but slightly modulated chord sound. Now, in the 80s session scene, they would also use some reverb, so a plate reverb set to a nice mix is always good as well for that kind of thing. That's great if you want to play those 80s funk lines, either with big shimmering chords or single note things. And there it is, that's how to dial in a funk tone with the St. James plugin suite. You can use this as a jumping off point for your own funk tones as well. Try different combinations and see what works best for you. And let me know down below in the comments what are you guys are using to dial in your funk tones. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. There's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you soon.